Eric Bauer is grateful for every breath he takes. He was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when he was five. Cystic fibrosis is caused when the body produces a thick, sticky mucus that clogs the lungs. For decades, life expectancy for people with the genetic disease was around 17. Bauer has beaten the odds. Certainly now being uh, 31 years old, uh, you know, I've come a long way, but uh, still see many good years left in my future, hopefully. Canadians like Bauer who suffer from cystic fibrosis are living longer now. And even better, a new study says their lifespan is almost 10 years longer than their counterparts in the United States. Based on American and Canadian data from 1990 to 2013, the average survival rate was almost 51 years in Canada, compared to just over 40 years south of the border. A big factor? Lung transplants. There were uh, more lung transplants being done in Canada compared to the U.S. And also of the people who died, more people died without a transplant in the U.S. compared to Canada. Researchers also point to a substantial difference in health care delivery between Canada and the U.S., specifically Canada's universal health care system, which provides everyone with access to care. I have a sense that the sort of the social safety net may be a little stronger in Canada as compared to the U.S. So what, what the contributing factors are, it's not, in, it's not entirely clear to us from this study, but uh, certainly a topic of future research. Canadians with cystic fibrosis also had better survival rates because of a nutritional intervention back in the 70s. Foods high in fats were recommended because they're easier to absorb. A similar plan wasn't implemented in the U.S. until the 80s. What's clear to Eric Bauer is that he's managed to live a normal and longer life despite the disease. And a huge milestone is coming up. He'll be a father for the first time. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.